Right, can you say hello? Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to our day. Welcome to our day. <laughs>and a little while ago I had a, a wax seal that I had designed for us that had mine and Sue's initials on and um, it's super cute it is super cute and mum was just like I really want one because mum's just started like wanting to learn how to do calligraphy and things like that and do writing and send letters so she asked for me to get her one and I've ended up getting her the I've got some of these um, the stand that I've got I've got her as well, which is like a metal thing. I'll put a picture in here because it's easier than me trying to explain it. Um, and some candles. She didn't expect any of this. She literally just thought she was going to get the stamp. Well, I had everything else for so long and the stamps just arrived. So, like, we tested it because obviously we needed to see what it looked like. And, oh my goodness, it looks so cute. So I'm going to flip the camera around and show you. How gorgeous is that? Oh, finger. Look how I did the squiggle on the color pattern. Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah. And I'm then sat here doing bows. And I, I had a picture of what I wanted to do a bow design of. And I thought, oh, there's a pair of scissors we've got that would do that template absolutely perfectly. <laughs> well, um, I just drew around those pair of scissors for the said template. And I don't think it's quite appropriate to have it on a bow for a child's head. <laughs> How? Did a bum come from this? This <laughs> How? It looked more out of shape initially. I can't do a bum bow. I need to try and figure that out because I want to do it like the heart shaped, but I really, really cannot do a bum bow. Wish, <laughs> wish me luck. Hi, princess. Oh. Oh. Thanks for coming. You're welcome, Mummy. Mummy? Yeah? We're having intent cuddles. Intent or intent? Both. <laughs> Mummy, my tummy and my leg is extinct. Right now. Yeah. The people can see you. What? The people can see you. Wow. Only just there because the chair is in the way. Yeah. Mummy, I'm waiting patiently right by your big butt. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm sat on my cushion. Oh, but for me to reach that bully, I've got to try and get my arms out of the tent. Yeah. I'm looking so good, and every time Mummy talks, my ear looks back, and then, yeah, and then it looks forward again, because you talk. Wow. Cute. Am I cool to carry on? Mm-hmm. Cool. Oh, that's cute. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
So Sophie's making a, a stuffed toy, which says if you've never done a soft soft toy before, never to make this one until you've made a simpler one, and not to make it on the machine because it's really difficult. Well, I'm ignoring those two pieces. Of this is what Sophie's achieved so far, and I think that looks like a bear. Yeah. Cute. Yay. What about the back? Back of the head. It's it's a patchwork one, so each little bit is going to be like. Multiple. There was, there's 30 different patterns on this entire bear. Busy, busy, busy. Yeah, it's gonna be so cute. And it's gonna be a gift for someone. So Yay. Yay! And then me. I'm making bows. And this one is hopefully gonna be looking like a Disney theme. Result to come soon. Albert? Do you want this bone or this lamb spaghetti? I want that. <laughs> right, let's ask Pickle. Let the girls choose what they want. Dixie, do you want this bone or this lamb spaghetti? Yeah. <laughs> she sniffed as pissed. well. I was pissed. Yeah. I had to sniff both of <laughs> them. And for those that don't know, lamb spaghetti, it is going to be gross, but it is the intestines of a lamb. That was really good. Yeah. Yeah. We pretty much feed our girls on the basis of if we wouldn't eat it, they won't eat it. I mean, I wouldn't eat that. No, but, but it's, it, it is it's human. human yeah. Um, What's that? No! Wow. If... Alba. Well, now I want the bone. If um, you do have a dog, please, 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 whatever you do, never give them rawhide. It, it shouldn't be on the shelves, legitimately. It is the worst animal food you could possibly buy. And it's because the rawhide isn't... It's not got... Um, sorry, I thought someone was coming to the door. It's not got anything in it that's of nutritional value and because it's not technically like food say like humans can eat and even with dogs it doesn't break down straight away it takes weeks to break down sometimes longer so that's sitting in their stomach the whole time um not breaking down and in that time it can grow bugs it can get stuck it's just it's awful and it like can just breed bacteria so seriously it is just it's not worth it there are so many other treats out there that are healthy and actually can be good for their systems um so yeah just make sure because <clears throat> rawhide seems to be in like so many treats and they don't actually tell you like the reasons of why it shouldn't be given um and also sorry don't okay. um with rawhide if you chew it well not you but like sometimes when they chew it it doesn't break down it sort of like goes kind of stringy and the amount of times like when we did before we knew the mm. dangers we did give it to them it's okay, baby, okay girl. baby girl. Come on, baby I remember girl. Right. one of the first times we gave it to Dixie. Because they say you can't give it to puppies until a certain age. So we waited till that day. And then when we gave it to her, I we panicked so much. We, she got it stuck. She couldn't breathe. I literally had to put my hands down her throat. It was probably one of the most terrifying things we've encountered at Calva encountered with pickle um and then that's when we started looking into it yeah it's probably on the part with the time that like when she gave birth and the first baby wasn't breathing so mm. you can imagine how terrifying that yeah was, so. um so yeah like just, just make sure when you're re like looking at like um treats for your pets that it literally does not say rawhide and even if it says rawhide alternative there's still rawhide in it it's they're I making mean, a point of it being there yeah i mean check because like we've had coconut strips before that um 
they've said raw hide alternative, yeah. which is fine because it's literally just dried coconut. Yeah. But sometimes, <clears throat> sometimes they do say raw hide alternative, and it's not just an alternative. No. It's like a combination. And another little top tip for your pooches: their food. If you're feeding them like dried food and not a, a raw diet, um. If the first ingredient says cereal, just leave it on the shelf because if that's the first ingredient, basically it's just puffed up with horrible cereals and no goodness, which if you're finding your dog is getting hungrier or is really windy or has an upset tummy, their or... poos aren't good, um, it's because the food you're giving them is not brilliant and it can also affect their coat as well so like if i mean it's not all the time because no. you do get wiry hair breeds but um sometimes if you do change over to one that isn't cereal first yeah it is a lot better i mean so parents are fantastic with what they feed their their pets but it is different to what we feed our pets and the ingredients the levels of things in our dog food is more but it's made the, the reason why it's more is because of alba's allergies and she can't have half of what's in all the other dog food like rice for example yeah so with our food that we have to get our girls because of alba's allergies we pay 50 pound for 12 kilograms which is not a lot and so we used to feed them what so's parents feed their girls and our girls coats you wouldn't even think they were from the same litter, um, but they are, and you can certainly tell that the food difference is different. Yeah, I mean, they're, when they were on the same as what mum and dad's dogs are on, they still had good coats, but their coats are better now. Mm. So yeah, the food that those so parents feed in their dogs, it's, it is good, but it's not as good as ours, because we've had to take out all carbs mainly in all the like bad stuff and it's like filled with like sweet potato and stuff like that yeah. um so yeah it's just the big difference so there is a lot that goes into feeding your pooch Indeed. and it does take a while to get it all right and correct and make sure you're doing it right but it does make a really big difference yeah um, and it also i was just going to say also it helps their behavior as well if you're feeding them um like the cereal she is loving her tent. She's been in it all day. Alba? I got cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you're feeding them like high cereal stuff, um, then they're more likely to be wild and... Yeah, their hyperactivity is so higher. Yeah, yeah. That's a good word to use, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so, just like if you had a human baby, if you were to feed them sugar 24-7, they would be high, they would still be hungry, and their shits would probably be bad. And it works for a, a, a non-human baby like a dog too. I'm just making out with my uh, angry bird. I was crawling. Yeah. Beautiful. Yep. <laughs> I'm going to carry on with my bows now. I don't know what I'm going to do. Probably it makes you've done quite a lot of sewing, yeah. haven't you? I just need a break from that because it's not lining up 100% properly. The destructions that was given with it <laughs> do not marry up. They no. don't link. They weren't um, written very well. But no. also the, um, like the shapes don't match. No. So if I was getting a little bit stressed, so I told her to take a break. And then have a fresh start on another day. Yeah. Good and time. we had a really lovely card from our friend Jess today. That said, I said Jess today. That made it sound like yesterday. yesterday. <laughs> and it's just got some really lovely words in there from her. Yeah. And we we need it. It was it's it's starting to get to us being indoors, not seeing family, and. I think what makes it more frustrating is knowing that people less likely to get COVID are allowed out and about. Yeah. And even 
those that are single parents or they live in on their own, they're allowed to have these bubbles of connection with one other family and you can hug them, you can do everything as if like you're in the same household. But if you're on the shielding list, yeah, you, can't do that. you still can't do it. And I think the more the restrictions drop for everybody else, but us being still in lockdown, it just, I think just... it just pinpoints, like, the, like, the disability and vulnerability of everything. Yeah. And, like, especially when you've got mental health problems anyway, it's not very helpful. Not at all. It's just, like, a giant reminder that you're not capable. I mean, we basically stayed indoors 99% of the time anyway because of my health we couldn't risk getting bugs because of me but before we were still able to go out whereas now it's full-on no you are not going out at all and I think that's what hits you and makes it really hard yeah. that you have that choice taken away from you I mean if you want to be stupid and you want to go out and you don't really give a shit whether you get COVID or not, that's your prerogative. But for us, it's not worth it. Nope. So we're still stuck indoors. And I think we're on like day ninety now. Yeah. And that really sucks. Yeah. So I'm gonna carry on with my bowls. So it's gonna read. So thanks for coming on save us. And we'll see you tomorrow. Hi everyone! Good night. Oh, 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 oh